Back in the video on connecting outlets, you learned about the difference between local variables and instance variables. To review, instance variables only exist for the duration of the method that they're in, but instance variables exist as long as the object that owns them exists. Understanding the difference between these two types of variables is very important, and it's an area where beginners sometimes get confused. So that leads me to your next challenge. Your challenge is to pause the video and take a look at the show alert method that you modified in the previous video to give the user bonus points. Then I want you to look through all the variables that you use within that method and write down which of them are instance variables and which of them are local variables. Once you're done, keep watching to see if you're right. Good luck. The quick answer is show alert has six local variables and three instance variables. Local variables are easy to recognize because the first time they're used inside a method, they're prefixed with either let or var. This syntax creates a new variable with var or a new constant with let. Because these variables are created within this method, then they're locals. So there are six local variables defined in this method. Difference, points, title, message, alert, and action. Since they're local variables, they're restricted to the show alert method and they do not exist once this method completes. As soon as the method is done, the locals cease to exist. Similarly, each time the show alert method is called, these variables are created anew. The old values have been discarded and you get brand new ones. That's why you can create these variables to a new value each time the method is invoked, even though some of them are constants. Instance variables, on the other hand, are defined outside the method. It's common to put them at the top of the file like this. You don't actually need to put them here, but it's just a good practice. Since they're defined inside the class outside of a method, you can use these variables inside any method without the need to declare them again, and they'll keep their old values until the object holding them, which is the view controller in this case, ceases to exist. Let me show you something that would not work. What if I said var score equals score plus points? We get an error here. It says variable used within its own initial value, use self to refer to the variable. So we're getting confused here. Because we put var behind this, we've now made a new local variable that is only valid inside this method. In other words, this won't add points to the instance variable score, but to a new local variable that also happens to have the same name. The instance variable score never gets changed even though it does have the same name. So that's not what we really wanna happen here, and Swift knows something strange is going on. So let me undo this. Remember the rule of thumb from the connecting outlets video. Use instance variables like these if you want to keep some values around from one event to the next. And use local variables like these for temporary storage. 